yes, I'm outside. Yes, I'm wearing fake glasses. And yes, this is that serious content. Today, we got something a little bit different. What if I were to tell you a story about one of the biggest pop stars on the planet in the 90s? And I told you, you probably never heard her name. Or, better yet, you probably definitely never seen her face. It's an interesting story. People think that body shaming is a brand new topic and a brand new thing that comes about in today's society. But, unfortunately, the music business has been around for a long time. Because as far as they can say, sex sells. So we got an interesting one for you today. If you like this kind of content, go ahead, like the video, comment below, subscribe to the channel if you're new here. You can catch me Monday, Wednesday, Friday, live on twitch.tv forward slash just that serious, where we talk about sports, music, and just me getting my butt kicked in video games. Enjoy this video. Martha Wash, your time to get talked about. This is some serious conversation. There is a song. CNC Music Factory. They did a song. Gonna make you sweat. Okay. All right. Okay. So a woman by the name of Martha Wash. Known for her very, very distinctive and very powerful voice, right? <clears throat> you make me feel like a natural woman. Let me tell you a little about this woman. Born December 28, 1953. She's an American singer-songwriter, right? And producer, known for her very distinct and powerful voice. She got first got her fame as a background singer, as a half of the group Two Tons of Fun. I don't know if that's real or not. You make me feel like mighty real. Uh, Two Tons of Fun. Now they they had some some success, and but they did. I that's okay. See, that's what it is. They renamed themselves after people, you know, people weren't really sure about that kind of name. And to be fair, like, yeah, makes sense as to why. Right, so let's see. And so they released the song, It's Raining Men. It's a raining men, hallelujah, it's a raining So, she makes this song really popular, really big, and really huge. And it's 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 problematic, not the song, but there's the kind there's just some attention to it that kind of. Anyways, the girls break up, right? And they start making different kinds of music, and And Martha Wash became like really popular in house music and started really doing a lot of things to uh, really just make 
her mark. And she was doing some cool shit. She did a bunch of cool songs and like stuff you've heard, stuff you haven't. But she was considered unmarketable because of her weight, right? She had this, she was a bigger plus sized woman. So here comes CNC Factory with this song. And she's the lead vocals. Well, she's the. Gonna make you swear. Alright. Well, we can play the song. We'll play just quick. We'll snip it of it real quick. Because this is part of the news story. Like, this is fair use because this is, in fact, It is, in fact, important. Now. If you can hear it. Distinctive. Powerful vocals see the problem tell me if you see the problem heavy known for being heavy yep what is happening is exactly what you think is happening that's right they've removed her from the song put some they didn't remove her from the song. They removed her from the video. They put some pretty little skinny girl in here singing her song. What? What? What do you mean? What do you mean? It, it's a problem. And it's a problem in the fact that, like, it's it's just okay to do that. That's the problem. Music industry in the 90s was like, cool. Just got to make it right. Or, uh, just got a bunch of hits. So it's just, it, this whole idea of <laughs> new things in music are kind of just bogus and bullshit. So we still deal with the kind of same kind of stuff today, you know? Like, Here's the way I feel about it. Okay. On the issue of body image. Again, who the fuck am I? Just a fucking white guy. Very little opinion on the matter. With very little weight of opinion on the matter. So it's kind of an irrelevant point, but um Anyways, it's kind of an irrelevant point, but just the idea that we should care what other people look like. So, I fully believe in both of these statements. I'm going to take it how you will. I believe you should absolutely be able to live however you want. If you want to be 500 pounds, that makes you happy, be happy. But whatever you do, you are not allowed to promote that as healthy or a good lifestyle. You could be mentally healthy, but you are physically unhealthy. I'm 185 pounds right now. I was 230 a year and a half ago. So, in this case... There is no excuse for taking her off the records because she's clearly got the talent to be there. But there's also... They could have easily just added her into the video. Bit, but she actually gets uncredited as the song, as a singer on that song too. Which I don't know how that works because... I, again, I don't know. I'm not, a, I'm not in the music business. 
Anyways, I just found that kind of fascinating that that was a thing that happened in 1992, 93. It was a controversy, and there was people that really covered it. Like, I can remember the reason I even know about it is uh, MTV knew, MTV used to have like a breaking news segment. And I can't remember the guy's name, but he was amazing. And he used to just come on there and be like, this was hurt. What the hell? What was his name? What was his name? I'm going to look it up now. This is going to bother me. 